All right, 2017 Morel Harvest. Untamed Feast, Eric here. How's it going? So, come a long way, come up to Fort St. John country, way back in the woods. It's tricky right now, because we've got what we like to call these naturals. I just happened to stumble on some right as I'm filming here. Okay, so these guys here, now they're morels, morels by any other name, but they're not really the true fire morel yet. And they're all, they're not in that great of shape. They're kind of wormy. So we're kind of in a transition zone right now with lots of bugs in the middle. Uh, we're after the naturals, which come early. Um, before the fire morels get here and uh, rains are coming and so the uh, the fire morels should come you know theoretically and it'll melt these wormy ugly old naturals they're around and I mean they're fun to pick and they're good eating there's nothing wrong with them they're just a weaker mushroom you know? they're just uh, not as dense. Some of them are nice and big though. It's a nice big one here. Yeah. Alrighty. Hello beaver. That's a big beaver. Just getting into the bush here. Uh, eight hours straight drive. Coming close to the patch. Some big, couple big beavers crossing the road. It's a good sign when a beaver crosses the road. Black cat, no. Beavers, yes. Hello, beavers. Hmm. About 8 o'clock at night on a beautiful Alberta evening, June 25, 2017. Well, we're going to go find some morels. We pulled out of this spot uh, a week or so ago, no, two weeks ago. And uh, I know some secret little hollow is going to duck back in and scoop some morels up. Beautiful day. Another beautiful day in Mosquito Town, Boreal Forest. Earth, Alberta, 2017. Always nice returning to a place where you pick morels with the crew long after everyone's gone. When they're the big dollars and the big volume isn't there to be made, that's when you can get finding some of the late season fire morels. These are lovely greys. Now I'll just have a look at the size of that one for a northern Alberta mushroom. Pretty impressive. This is what they look like when they're quite a bit smaller there. Okay. And, uh, you know, they're not super abundant. Uh, never really are. But super fun to pick. And in the industry, it's what's referred to as the fire morale. Because these ones, these grays and blondes, they don't come up um, <clears throat> uh, like the naturals do in Alberta anyway. There's a nice little patch here, see? Beautiful one here, couple here, couple there. Here. 
Beautiful. And of course, uh, delicious eating. These will get dried up and go into an untamed feast package. Oh, Eric with Untamed Feast here, your gourmet Canadian wild food company. Today, on this adventure, we are harvesting the gray and blonde fire morels coming up the year after a forest fire. A real treat. You got to be really good to be able to find them. And you have to go a lot of distance and run around in bear country and do all kinds of semi-dangerous things in order to get them and then we dry them and that's when they get really good after they're dry reconstituted and cooked it is the very end of the season here so when the greys and blondes come it's it's kind of the end and uh, this is probably my last pick in this area. That was a nice little patch. Another one there. We missed. So, you want to find some morels because they're yummy. Go to my website. Purchase a beautiful package of them. Rehydrate them. Or, I really want to go pick those. That's really what I want to do. Well, follow me on Instagram. Check out the YouTube videos. Lots of them out there. Look up the morel section on YouTube. Lots of how-to. And uh, it's, uh, it's so simple, and yet it's so not simple. Uh, I think we'll leave it at that. Good luck and happy hunting.